Today is a beautiful day. It's 22 degrees out, so for me, I'm in shorts and a t-shirt. The locals, a lot of them are still wearing winter coats, but I mean, they're more accustomed to the hot, humid weather. Um, it's supposed to be raining, but I've lucked out over here. I live in Liwan District, and uh, in my stop, my metro line area, we haven't got any rain, but just, you know, four stops over, my buddies have seen a bit of rain. Um, he's been out getting prepared to go on a trip, you know. Everyone's on Chinese New Year right now. It's uh, vacation time. So if you go to any of the major malls, like I did yesterday, I went to T-Mall, Grandview Mall down in Tianhe. It was packed. I also went to the outlet stores, um, and that also was packed. Bought my wife a new pair of some New Balances. She got two pairs, good price. Not that much different from prices back in North America, I'd, I'd say that. They did have 30% off if you bought two or more pairs, so, you know, had to take advantage of that, but uh, yeah. Today, I'm headed to the grocery store, and normally, I don't go to the grocery store. I tend to go to the wet markets, um, but that's mainly for my meats and my produce. If I want chicken breasts or some fish, I'll check out the wet markets because they're so affordable. Whereas the grocery stores, um, there's brands called Aeon and Vanguard, I tend to go to those to get certain things like butter, um, oils, uh, like olive oil. Uh, bananas are a hit and miss. Sometimes you find the nice packaged dole, dole bananas at the, the grocery stores, but sometimes the local shops, the small shops, the fruit shops, they also have really good bananas. So I'm gonna do some price comparison. First, I'm going to the store close to my house. Um, this store is, I forget the name of it, it's called like Happy Mall or something like that. Uh, the, the parent store of it is Aeon. It's an offshoot of Aeon, which is a really popular grocery chain over here. And then I'm gonna walk about half an hour over to a different location, kind of where my work is. And there I'm gonna check uh, Vanguard. Vanguard is one of my favorite ones. They have a lot more options. Um, and I'm gonna see, you know, do some price comparisons. Other than that, you can always check on the apps. Uh, Meituan app comes in handy a lot. There's a lot of deals. Uh, last week, I bought a case of Gatorade for about 35 RMB after discounts. Normally, they're going for 50 to 70, but uh, yeah, that was huge savings as I tend to drink about a bottle of Gatorade a day. Um, but yeah, so price comparisons are a big thing for me here in China, especially if you want to live budget friendly. And this is coming up to a series I'm going to be doing that is uh, the how long I can go a week, how much money I'm going to spend, you know, the most budget friendly thing I could do. I would start it this week, however, I would like to do it while I'm working because one of the key things about saving money is that free lunch. Um, that lunch from the cantinas. I find it really good. I enjoy Chinese food, but I know a lot of foreigners are like, oh man, I can't eat that stuff. It's good, man. And I'll show you guys some of the things I get once I do that series. But yeah, in about two, three weeks, I'll try doing that series um, and we'll see how much money I can save. But for now, we're just going to do some price comparisons at the grocery store. Here we are, big intersection, e-bikes flying around everywhere. This is a really famous river that's actually right behind uh, my building complex. But yeah, that's New World Plaza over there. We're gonna head over there, um, do some price comparisons. The grocery store is on the second floor. Okay, here's a good time I'll cut, trying not to get run over by a bike. Light is green. And I'll see you when we get up there. Okay, we can see right there. The store is max value by Aeon. I'm gonna run in, I'm just price comparing. Because if I find things that are better priced than over at Vanguard, then I'm definitely gonna come back and uh, get them. Strawberries, strawberries are always good. All year round. Now the first thing I wanted to check out was the bananas. So the bananas pricing right now, 6.99 is for 500 grams. So one of these packages, 6.90, 6.90. Original from 9.90, that's pretty good. Um, the size of them is pretty good. Probably can't beat that. And then you have the Dole. But they look a little, uh, no, this pack is better, but $12.90. So I'll probably go for the cheaper option. Second thing I needed to look at was butter. What was the third thing? I forgot the third thing already. Oh, I needed a bottle of cola. Something to drink in the fridge. This is person preparing meat. Now I know right now, this channel has very few uh, 
watchers, subscribers, fans, whatever you want to call them. My other channel is kind of bumping, but different material. It's not just about life in China, it's more about me doing wholesale markets. Um, so if anyone has any questions, once you see this, once you know, the channel takes off a little bit about food prices or anything else here, um, you know, just ask me. Noodle Island. Now the noodles, uh, one thing about the noodles is, there used to be my favorite noodles. Um, they were like in a black package, rectangle package. They had peanuts and they were dry noodles that were a little spicy. I can't find them anywhere. Okay, so we're gonna see, here we go. 200 grams, 250 for 33. I want salted. That's small packages. Last time I was lucky, we got the president, the green one though, and it was taped together. It was on sale, so I got two packs. So I don't want unsalted. The green one is going to be the salted one. So unsalted, unsalted, salted for 45. So hopefully Vanguard will have better prices on the butter. Just doing a quick double check to make sure I don't miss anything. Okay, so I'm definitely going to have to head over to Vanguard because I think the butter prices will be better there. If not, I already looked on Taobao. The butter prices on Taobao are fairly good. Now a quick look, let's have a quick good look at the Oreos. My friend back in Canada actually sent me 150 Canadian to start picking up all these different flavored Oreos and treats for him and uh, chips especially, all the yummy snacks and it's looking pretty good man. The box is pretty big. After Chinese New Year I'll definitely be shipping that out to him. Um, bottle of cola. Let me go to the cold section. Cold section is no different than the warm section. It's just ready to go. And look, oh that's pretty cool. So right now if you buy this bottle of cola you get a bunch of hung bao. Uh, 6.90, so about 7 RMB for a bottle of cola. Now if you're wondering about conversion rate, maybe I should have said I'm going to pop these up on the screen. Maybe I will, I'll pop the prices up on the screen so people can see. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put the comparison to Canadian and to American, I guess. So Canadian it's 1 to 5 and then American it's about 1 to 7. Now also this place, this snack place, this, uh, the prices here are amazing. Just you find really cheap drinks. I usually come here if I go eat, 2.1 down from 2.5. These are down from, you know, 6.7, but this, I tried it, it is not that tasty. And some Red Bull with zero sugar, well, less than a dollar, 3.9, that's pretty good, that's a good price. And then the fridges, um, tons of snacks. I'm taking a quick trip over to the chips just because I need to actually remember how much I paid for chips. So chips are like 4.5 each. The bigger one's 20, 5.9. So I'm gonna average the small bags for my friend, about six or seven, just in case, you know, some were more expensive than other. I did buy a bunch of them in an import store because some of the snacks I bought from aren't just from China. They're from like Thailand, or Indonesia, and Cambodia, Singapore, that type of stuff. But anyways, that's the first grocery store. Now I'm gonna head out the other one. It's gonna be about a 30 minute walk. Maybe I'll guys show you some of the excitement on the way. <laughs> a lot of it is a little industrious area so you know I'll show you that too but let's go for a walk. that's uh, really close to my house is right over in this area is a wholesale uh, sports market. So everything from badminton rackets, basketball, ping pong. Oh is that an electric Porsche? That's pretty cool. But yeah down this way, uh, sorry for the jiggling, down this way is for a wholesale sports market. Um, it's closed right now, it's, you know, Chinese New Year. Everyone's going back to their hometowns, they're just relaxing at home. But another cool thing I wanted to show you is, uh, there's always food places around. Right downstairs at my house, we got some noodle shops and stuff, and they're good, super affordable. But then when you come across the river over this way, there's a lot of street barbecue places. And now, the thing about street barbecues, when people say there's levels to this, there's definitely levels to street barbecue. Meat quality sometimes is questionable. Meat source is questionable. The spices, the way they cook it, everything is somewhat questionable and has different tier levels. So the ones right here near to my house, you know, they're not ones that I'd go out of my way or invite friends over to. Still now and then I might eat it, you know, you might some want some oysters with garlic or skewers, but man, there's a lot there's a lot of better better places. I like to go up to Penyu. A little further out, 
the street barbecue there a lot better than in this area. But hey, back in the day when I used to have a couple beers and want to eat, these places would do just fine. Oh, right now you can see all these uh, mandarin trees. These ones are unedible, but they're for good luck coming into Chinese New Year. I used to have a bunch of lights like that. I don't know what my wife did with all my decorations. No, actually, I can go down this way. Um, there's multiple ways that you can always travel in China. There are walls everywhere a lot of the time. So when you want to get to some place where in Canada and America, things are kind of like open. You could always cut through cuts or alleyways and stuff like that. In China, it's not so much. It's, it's like a maze. So it gets really fun and interesting and great to explore sometimes. Um, yeah. Anyways, this way, a little older, they are all the shops you can see. These places don't normally sell clothing. They usually sell food and snacks, but maybe they're selling clothing now. Winter's almost over here, like I said. It's warm. We had a cold two weeks. Um, that was a little difficult. I do not like the cold, even though being from Canada, it's uh, not ideal for me. Now these donuts, um, they look all good. They look okay, they look good, but not really it. So I might end up getting bananas here. They're a little green, but that's actually kind of how I like them. We'll see when I walk back. Bananas at these fruit places usually are a lot better. Last time, uh, the last bananas I got are from a shop that's further down there after I got off work. I think it was like five bananas for six RMB. So almost like one RMB of bananas where you can see at the grocery store because you know the grocery store they have to pay rent they got to pay their managers and stuff stuff's always going to be a little more expensive these places got to pay rent too but this is more like privately owned places right got a little school here <laughs> Dumpling shop. I'm really happy about the bike present right now. There's not a ton of bikes. Usually they're just zipping in and out. They're slamming their brakes on, almost running into you. Yesterday when I was walking closer to a place called Beijing Lu, Beijing Road, I got hit in the arm at least three different times. I was about to throw down, but you know, you don't cause a ruckus in China, especially as a foreigner. You obey the laws, you be polite. Even if others aren't necessarily the nicest to you, in general, people here are lovely. They're ecstatic, they're very friendly. But you know, when you have such a big population, obviously there's going to be a percent that uh, gets a little rowdy. Someone's dog walking around and then the temple over here for worshipping. I'm a little confused about where the, oh, the fruit shop I think was further down that I bought the fruit out, but normally when I see places that I've been to, it jars me and pops back up into my head. Hair salons. 360. Now, would you guys get your haircut here? The price would be phenomenal. Meow. Mimi. Oh, they got two cats in here. I love cats. I have seven myself. Yes, seven. It's a lot. My wife began breeding them and couldn't give them all the way. No, she fell in love, so. Nail salon. Yeah, just a little small back alley place so the locals can come. Very affordable. The cost of living here is like the biggest scale I've ever seen. Like, you can have that really poor third world country cost of living where everything, if you choose to, can be super cheap. Or you can jump up the price brackets to middle class or soar up the price brackets to extreme wealth. You know, driving in Bentleys, eating the Michelin stars that are expensive. Like, you can live at any spectrum you want, would you please? So it's a great place to save money, great place to lose or blow money. No. 
gambling centers. There's a lot more gambling centers that opened up in the wild. There's certain businesses that when I left in 2020, you didn't see an abundance of, but now that I'm back, they're just everywhere. Like McDonald's are always big, but Starbucks extremely expanded. Tim Hortons expanded. Gambling centers expanded. The claw machines massively expanded everywhere. So it's kind of like North America. I mean, back in Canada, we used to have so many tons of tons and tons of moms and pop shops, but now there's it's all corporations. It's almost like a scientific or a, a scientific um, sci-fi, right? Sci-fi movie where corporations take over. If you guys ever played the game Cyberpunk 2077, I think it is. I'm forgetting the number right now, but that game kind of a. Uh, it's kind of like what the world is turning into. Corporations are getting so rich and powerful that they're taking over all sectors and will one day run everyone's life. You need to become a part of a corporation to survive. The small man is gonna be pushed out. But I don't feel that over here. I feel here that everyone has a chance and opportunity and you're not struggling to live. The cost of living is just fine. Now some of these shops, I think it's a little too early in the afternoon for them to be open. They could be closed because it's Chinese New Year, but you know, some of these shops, they have that relaxing type of mindset. Plus, you know, for some of these foods, I don't know, the fried foods, guloro, like, it's not a big seller in the morning. Chinese people have certain times only eat anything. Anyways, the other way I could have came was that way. Um, this is all like house renovation areas. So if you want to get a cabinet built or, you know, need metal on the windows or metal doors and stuff, you can come to this area and get them to do that. So just in one little radius, you have all these different businesses that all have different purposes and I like it. Okay, so I can't really read it. This is where I bought my bananas before. I need a smaller amount. I think I will come back. Two RMB per, I, I can't read it, but I'll double check later. This is probably on the way back. That's where I'll buy the bananas. You know, give them some business. Local shops don't always need to pay the big stores, but the butter, unfortunately, the butter, I gotta go to uh, Vanguard. Hopefully Vanguard has a good price or else you'll be seeing me buy it on Maytown, which I have no problem with. Delivery is super cheap, because you see all these e-bikes everywhere. E-bike, 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 e-bike. This is the one I will be getting soon, UQI Plus, e-bike everywhere. Just so convenient. And it does help a little bit with the pollution in the air. Now, before I was a little blind to it, I used to say, oh, there's not a ton of pollution everywhere. I mean, because you get used to it, right? But once I came back after that three year gap in Canada to Guangzhou, I could feel it. My sinuses still feel it. Um, hopefully soon, I'll get over it. Okay, for a second, my mind glitched. I was like, which way do I go? Do I go that way? And you know what? I can go that way. But we're gonna head out to the road. We're gonna go this way. Some skewer, I mean, snacks. Street food snacks, those look delicious. This is the place, Xia uh, Xian Snacks. I wanted to go there, but my wife's like, I don't wanna eat there. So one day I'll have to go by myself, nice and cheap. Got a Chinese burger joint, they got burgers, fried chicken, everything. New development going up. I saw signs and I think it's gonna be a shopping center. Just by the look and shape of it, it looks like a shopping center. It does not look like your average condo. You see further in the back, condos and condos. This does not look like that. And I get bet you, within six months, that'll be fully done. Things just go up so fast here. There are a few places I've seen where the development started before I left and they're stuck. You know, sometimes shady stuff happens. The owners get themselves in trouble, the, the investors, the buyers, or sometimes things just don't work out. But that happens everywhere in the world. We just don't see it in every sector in North America because some things are protected more than other businesses just done differently everywhere.
the guy's English was pretty good actually. He said interesting without a heavy Chinese accent. So he probably speaks some form of English. Um, probably educated. Did not sound British either. It sounded more Canadian or American. So maybe he lives overseas, but that's the thing. Once I got back from Canada, like in 2020, especially 2015, you'd go out, nobody spoke English. Unless you're right downtown, like Zhejiang Newtown area in Tianhe, then you got the business people. Some of those educated people would speak uh, English. But in, when I came back this year, man, almost like people everywhere are saying hello to you, talking to you, but not like that guy. Um, he just knows hello. People actually can speak a lot more English than that. Um, they'll have a small conversation. They'll ask you questions. And I think it's because a lot of the children have become educated and grown up. But it's not just the younger generation. It's not just like 18, 20, 25. It's the 30 year olds and some of the young 40 year olds. Now I'm gonna run because I don't want to miss this light. Actually, I'm not going to work. Normally when I go to work, I'm gonna cross them and head down that way. The Vanguard is on this side of the road. So I'm gonna head down this way. Major road is pretty busy. Tons of buses, tons of e-bikes, people driving crazy. And here's one of my biggest pet peeves. You got bike lanes, tons of bike lanes, both sides of the road. You got lots of places to turn around, but you're still gonna get these people that choose to travel for long distances only on the sidewalk. And it's not like it's legal. It's actually illegal to ride your bikes on the sidewalks, but the police don't enforce it and people don't listen. I mean, it's the most petty of petty crimes, right? So, but it is a bit of annoyance. A nice Mercedes. Some of the car colors here, like the Mercedes, I don't even think it's wraps. It's just, they have such good paint jobs. Like I've never seen some of these colors anywhere back home on certain models. I'm eventually thinking I'm gonna do a, a little video about cars in China because especially the electric cars, the e-cars, man, there's tons of brands. Like, I used to know quite a few of the Chinese brands. I can't tell you the name of them now. There's handfuls of them. Man, I'm, I'm so happy it's not raining right now. It was supposed to be raining all day long today. Even though it only said 40% of the area is going to get rain, I lucked out that it's not my area. Maybe it's up north, your Bayun. Maybe it's a far east side of Guangzhou that I've never really explored or been to. Maybe it's south in Panyu, a place that holds dear to my heart because when I first arrived in China, that's where my place was with a bunch of roommates. Now as you walk to this area, there's a children's wholesale clothing market this way. My wife's office is actually down on this street. No, she doesn't do children's, I mean actually, her boss did export children's clothing for a long time, but she's just in the export business, exports a lot of things cutlery, you know, pots, pans, accessories, all, everything. Where well, there's money to be made, they'll do it. Another Starbucks. I've seen four Starbucks on the walk here, like. And they're not cheap. They're the same price as North America. I personally love Starbucks, but I rarely eat it. I treat it like a big treat to me, almost like a dessert. Because my stomach can't handle lactose that well anymore. And if I get my, my, you know, my actual order, I'll probably be running to the bathroom. See the traffic. Cars are just gridlocked. But the thing is, they'll be gridlocked like this for five minutes, and all of a sudden it'll just open up like a floodgate, and they'll all disappear. Main thing, the roads, these roads are only three wide, but when you get to some of the major, major areas, the roads are five, six lanes wide. And they still get gridlocked. Tons of small stores. Oh, there's a Starbucks. I swear there was a Starbucks back there, and now there's another one right here. Uh. Anyways, that's enough talking for now. I'll get back to you when I hit Vanguard, the grocery store.
Okay, so we are now here at Vanguard. I think it's upstairs. Once I get closer, I'll see. We got some of these guys. Armored car. Shotguns. Yeah, this is almost the only time you ever see one of those things, you know? The pew pews is uh, by the armored car people. Even the police, they don't carry them around. Unless there's a major incident, then they get like a special unit to come with someone that has the right to have one. They come out and uh, other than that, you never see them. So, you know, not like back home, even in Canada, they're not authorized yet. I see them, I hear them. It's, uh, yeah, it's gone bad. Escalators a little slow. I like the one they have like energy sufficient escalators where they don't really slow and then you step on them and they speed right up. Good time. I prefer to walk up these things, get my steps in. Yesterday I did about 30,000 steps, which has probably been the most in a long time. But I was out with the family. I went out in the morning exploring to look for a market. I forgot about and realized okay, this is where it's at. Okay, so butter. Bananas, maybe Snickers, if they have a discount on Snickers. Regular Snickers, $32.90. Um, yeah, I'll grab a Snickers. They're usually $39, so a little bit of a sale. Let's see if I get a dollar or whatever. I'm all down for sales. Plus, I, I really enjoy my Snickers. There's not a big selection of uh, chocolate bars out here. Back in the day, there was only Snickers, but now there's uh, Snickers, M&M's, Twix, Reese's Pieces, Reese's Cups, or whatever, you know, all that stuff. Mm. Got a nice beer selection, alcohol selection, tons and tons of wines for all the wine people. A lot of uh, foreigners in China drink excessively. I am no longer one of those. And a bunch of people around my age, you know, the people in their 30s, we all feel the same. We all feel like as we got older, we just, we can't do it because the next day we are toasted. Not even the next day, maybe like the next two, three days. Um, and that, you don't want to be like that. You got to work, you got to do things with family and friends. You just, it's fun while you drink, but afterwards it's painful. I'm just checking the drinks and stuff quickly. <laughs> Always looking for a good deal, a good sale. My friends make fun of me because uh, I'll post sales and deals on my WeChat moments. Or I'll put it in one of the foreigners groups and stuff like that. And they're like, why are you posting menus and sales? I'm like, because guys, these are good sales. Don't you guys enjoy this? And then they secretly, I know they secretly love it because they go and buy stuff afterwards and they get the savings. Everyone likes some savings, but you know, it's a good old time. You like to banter. We like to check each other. We like to roast each other. Okay, butter and bananas. The cola price, I'll check online for cola as well, but like, you know, one RMB difference than for me to walk all the way home with it in my bag. Probably not the greatest. So you can see Vanguard. It's a little bigger, quite bigger than my location close to my house. A lot more busy popular area. We got the online order area. Jeez, but where's the butter at? I didn't see... Oh, maybe it's in the middle. That would make more sense. Look for the yogurt, look for the cheese, find the butter. Uh, see noodles and kimchi. We got the yogurt, the little drinks on that side. So they should be around here somewhere. And I'm hitting milk. Come on. This is going to be ridiculous if I don't find anybody. It's got to be on this side.
Did I miss it? Let me find the Chinese word for butter. What my Baidu translate? Good app. Yeah, uh, uh, so their section is minuscule. Um, that's a little disappointing. They got one salted, but it's 227 grams for 50 RMB. So it looks like I came all the way here just to get the Snickers. Okay, so we're gonna head back home. Um, maybe I check Meituan for some, I did, didn't I? We're gonna check again one more time and maybe order butter from there. Well, I'm gonna go pay for this and uh, that's probably it. Maybe I get burger buns too. I need some burger buns. We'll check uh, the date on the burger buns. Oh, this is what I want to show you guys. They have these instant burgers. So this shit on the shelf for seven fifty. Um, you put them together yourself. I don't know. I don't trust these things. It's like chemical meat or processed meat or something. Um, me and my friends are probably going to do a challenge, and I'm going to get one of them to eat one of those things. I probably will get super sick about it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay, that's it. Let's head out. Let's, I'm going to buy this. And that's it. Woman almost crashed into me. Check the oils. I gotta make sure I got him the peach, so I'll take a picture. I'm pretty sure I got my buddy the peach. I'll always make sure. I want to get him every single flavor there possibly is that we don't really have back home at our regular grocery stores. Actually, let me check the chips as well. This is for Chinese New Year. They have this massive thing of Lay's. Quite interesting. I don't know if we eat that many, but. Uh, I don't know where the chips are. There we go. That one looks pretty good, but I want a small bag. I'm gonna have a small bag of that.
I'm gonna take my time. I'll get back to you guys once I finish shopping. So just finished. Last time I tried to exit that way. This time I need to exit this way because the escalator that way is not going properly. I ended up buying a lot more than I thought it would. I saw a few items I thought would be interesting that I don't think I picked up for my friend's snack haul. So I uh, picked those up and uh, yeah, basically everything I came for, I didn't get a single thing. I think I'll end up buying those bananas on the walk home from that one shop. Trying to get four or five bananas. But other than that, we're going online, made one for butter and cola. I mean, the deals are just better online. And that's why a lot of Walmart and other places has started to close down and repurpose in China. Because people are finding deals and shopping online a lot. More. I'm really disappointed though, Vanguard, such a big store, had such a lousy butter selection. That's. I don't know. Whew. It has become quite a bit more humid since I left. Let me check the temperature, because it was just 22 degrees. I mean, it is raining in other parts of the city, so maybe that water, that moisture, that humidity is headed over this way. It's only one, oh, it's two degrees more, it's 24 degrees. Let's check the humidity. Only 25%. Or huge, no, sorry, humidity makes it feel like 25 degrees. It's not listening to humidity for some reason. Oh, sorry. Humidity, 80%. Oh, smells like vinegar out here. Like salt and vinegar chips. Someone's cooking some fish or something. Or who knows? It doesn't smell bad. Just very strong. I better ask my wife uh, what a better place to buy butter is. Maybe there are some Chinese shops that sell butter and I'm just not too familiar with it. Put you guys in my other hand. As I walk out, there's a lot of people selling things just on the side of the street here. Try to make a little quick extra buck during the holidays. This guy's got some Adidas and some Nike stuff. This guy's selling peelers, I believe. Some flower roots. Maybe flowers to replant. about China people here are hustlers they have the biggest resale culture ever they're always trying to find a deal so buying from one place selling to another you got to give them props for that and with these streets the main thing about China is sometimes you got to just go 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 Now, I would love to buy some older Chinese artifacts, like shops over there sell some vases, vases, whatever you call them, some jade, but I don't know, a lot of the stuff is kind of scammy. They claim to be old, they claim to be ancient artifacts, but they're really just like recent, per you can replicate anything, right? So, hold off on spending my money on that, put my money someplace that's more wise, even though I previously, previously spent my money on things like sneakers and bullshit but hey everyone's got to have some sort of hobby right anyways it's a, quite a bit of a walk 10 20 minutes next time you see me we'll be back at that fruit store and you'll see me struggling to understand her Chinese sometimes they talk so fast I don't know what the price is gonna be I tried to read the, the digital scale and then hand over the money but yeah, I'm gonna count my money before I get there. I'm gonna pay cash, get some cash back, and uh, let's go. All right, I'm just headed right back now, back to the fruit stall. Give them some business. Looking for four to five bananas. Sugar, sugar, bananas. Now, Chinese is horrible. She's probably gonna speak fast Chinese to me, and I'm gonna be there like super confused. 
Like a deer in the headlights. But it's okay. I'm learning. And it is starting to rain now. It's just spitting a little bit, so you give it 30 minutes before it's pouring. Luckily, in case I did bring uh, separate shoes, I don't like to get uh, these shoes dirty. I have my Vibram Five Finger Toe shoes. Those things are crazy for the rain. Like you, just, you can walk through anything. They have good grip. So for a lot of the cement and tile here, you're not going to be slipping. It's just you know, perfect water shoes, in my opinion. Oh yeah. Let's see if there is a good set of bananas. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let me put this down. All right, so I originally took out 50 to pay in cash, but you know, a little easier this time. They uh, showed me the price right on the screen as normal. You figured, you know, I can't speak anything. He did say something, but I have my earphones in, so it kind of even mumbles even anyone with a deep voice. And a lot of Cantonese people, they have a, a deeper voice here. So yeah, 4.72, so five RMB, five bananas. That's a really good price, you know, like that's it's a Canadian 20 cents a banana, American probably 15 cents a banana. Cheaper, like half price than what it was at the grocery store for the cheap ones, the dull ones, you know, rewind, I think there were 12.90 for the dull ones and then nine something on sale for the no name, but these will last me, good for breakfast every day. Have one of these for breakfast, have uh, oats as well, like 50 to 80 grams of oats, depending on how I'm feeling. Um, and that's what I need the butter for. I like to take the butter, put it with the oats, a little bit of brown sugar, some cinnamon. Mm. It's almost like a pie for breakfast. Get all those calories in, carbohydrates, so you have energy to walk around all day. Then throw on some proteins at lunchtime, you know, dumplings, beet, all of this, and then a big dinner. So little different than how I eat when I'm back home in Canada. Um, back home in Canada, I, I eat a lot more. I try to put on weight, I try to bulk, but with all those efforts of eating, it seems less beneficial in Canada. I don't I don't feel like I can put on the weight. Where here I do feel like I lean out a little bit, but I feel like the muscle mass still stays and stuff. I have not hit the gym for about a month. I, I was waiting to get a gym membership. Um, it's about 998 RMB for three months at the sale price. Most of the bigger gyms, they all have about the same price. So it's no point in shopping around. You just find one close to your house or close to your work. I just didn't want to uh, start spending until I had a contract. So signed a contract like last week, two weeks ago now, waiting on the work piece of the process. Once everything is dandy, then we start spending, right? The Xiao Niu bike is gonna come. Be a good episode on buying something like that. Shout new, I'm excited. Then I will no longer be walking ever like these people. It'll take me five, ten minutes to get to the grocery store there. I'm oh, that's the biggest upgrade I can, I'm waiting for. So yeah. Oh, as you guys see, back through the alleyways. Got this guy backing up. So it is starting to get a little more ridiculous in here, like I said earlier. Now imagine if nine uh, five o'clock at night, people are just zooming down here. It's, it becomes a traffic jam. But as I walk by all these small shops, I'm also looking to see if they have butter. But most of the fridge is just water and drinks. So I don't know Chinese people don't use a lot of butter, so it's not one of the items that's everywhere. Maybe I should have put the bananas in my backpack. This stuff is a little heavy. You know, holding the camera and the goods at the same time.
I'm gonna get home though. I think it's about time for lunch. I'm gonna have to cook something up. Got an air fryer. You know, that comes in handy with a lot of the frozen foods. People inside the temple over there. You think they'd be worshipping? No, they're playing cards or playing the Chinese checkers game. Not the Chinese checkers that you're used to, but like, it has like round circles, not spheres. Like a checkerboard they put it on. There's different moves. I want to learn that game. I want to play it with some people one day. I like to learn games and become really good at them and then beat the locals. Like table tennis. I'm decent, but I'm not like pro level. I can stand pretty far back and send it back. I know different angles and different serves, but I don't know. I like to amaze people with talents. So always learning, always getting educated, always progressing. That's one of my models in life. Anyways, it's been a fun video, guys. I think I'm about to finish up this walk. When I get home, I'll do a quick, quick recap because I am going to do a few, little bit of shopping on the apps. And then I'll let you guys know how the end of the little shopping experiment went. I am making a list on my phone in notes. Average prices, best prices of things. You know, trying to be money-wise. This guy's got a lot of candy. Every time I see candy, I'm like, ooh! Makes me a little excited. I want to jump in and snack down, but... But we shouldn't, right? We should be eating whole foods, vegetables, fruits, meats, not as many snacks. So I think I'm gonna cut here. Let's cut to the house for a conclusion. All right, I have good timing because it's just starting to come down now. I'm about to head to my house. Um, I was able to pick up some Johnsonville broths. The place near my house sells them two packs for 35. So, uh, yeah, good price. If you go to the store, they're like 50, even 60 a pack for the four pack, right? Or five pack, whatever it is. The double pack is usually 70 to 90. So, you know, I don't know if she sells them that's close to expiry or a little older, but hey, I'm gonna eat them in like a, a week or two. They're frozen. They're good, quick little snacks. So, you know, like I said, shopping around is always a good thing. Always finding prices, price matching. Too bad they don't do couponing here. If I could coupon, you know, maybe that'd be a whole nother series, but anyways, when I get home, we'll double check in one more time. So yeah, it turned out the only reason I needed to go out was to get the bananas. Um, we've ended up finding better prices for the butter on the app. Now, throw the app up right here. Call this the Hippo app. It's from one of the grocery retail stores here in China. Hippo, I don't know what it's called in Chinese, but yeah, as you see, Right here, um, we picked up a few other things also. My wife wanted chicken feet. Uh, picked up some lemon or pear Oreos for a friend and chips and drinks, some sauce. But yeah, there's the the butter. It was 31.9 RMB. Also got some sauce and stuff, you know. Usually when we hop on the apps, we end up getting a little bit more than we intend. And uh, yeah, that's why I try to stay away from them. I like going in person. I like going for an adventure. But yeah, that's it for me today. Um, price matching or finding the best prices possible by going around to a few different locations. Even though you're only saving a little bit of RMB, a little bit of dollars, um, for me, it's worth it. You know, because next time I know where I can go and uh, kind of make a list of things where, you know, I can get better deals and save that money because every little bit counts. Anyways, guys, till the next video, it's Kali in China, typing an adventure. Take it easy.